Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, very, very helpful information about BMW, E90, other ones as well, that come with that engine. So, we're putting new radiator guys, and if you do not do, it, do this the correct way, you can say goodbye to your transmission. If you have automatic transmission, or if you have manual, you can actually lose coolant. So, stay with us guys, very helpful information. And why is that? Because that radiator comes with two different plugs and it's not logically what's happening there so I'm going to go explain you cut the old radiator and show you what needs to be done so you don't mess up your transmission oh you guys more than I don't know 200 videos coming on that beam run out to repair guys also we just started a new channel electrical car repair life please subscribe many videos will come there for BMW diagnosing electrical components engine codes airbag codes things like that so this is the new radiator, stay with us and you see what I'm talking about. Those are the two plugs, you can see, okay, one is actually the old plug. Okay, this is, let me just pull that thing out. Okay, you can see the new radiator comes with two different linked plugs. And I was wondering, okay, which one to put, right? Because I was a little bit skeptical about it, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I've done only 46 before, but it's been quite a while, so forgot about that information. And if you have automatic transmission, okay, the water has to come out of here to go to the transmission cooler, right there, that hose. You can see this is the hose that connects to the radiator, this hose. It goes to the transmission cooler. But what happens actually, guys, okay, right here now, is you're going to put the short one in, and you will think that it will, uh, it will actually allow allow the water, uh, the coolant to go through it because it's shorter, right? But no, you will need for automatic transmission to install the long one, not the short one. The long one will need to be installed for automatic automatic transmission. Manual transmission, standard transmission will take the, the short one. And we'll show you why. This is the old radiator. We're going to cut it. Stay with us. We're going to get the saw, okay, and cut it quick. And that way we will see how exactly things work inside. Okay. This is the original radiator, guys. This is original, about 11 years old radiator out of a 2006 model, so about 12 now almost. Okay, the moment of the truth. Okay, let's break that piece off and see what is happening inside. Okay, you can see this is the piece, this is the radiator here. So, let's go ahead actually and get the plugs and we will see how each one of them differs. Okay, you can see this is the outlet for the automatic transmission. Okay, right here. Okay guys, so this is the piece. You can see uh, this is the bottom piece of the radiator. This is where the automatic transmission uh, cooler hose connects. So if you have the long one installed, okay, check it out now. This is the long one. What happens? It goes all the way down here. It blocks, okay, or it goes down here, but it allows water to go around the pipe here, around the plug, and come out of here. So if you have automatic transmission, that's why you need the long one. But if you have manual and you install this one, you're going to leak coolant out. So you can see, now if you have manual transmission, you install the short one. By installing the short one, it just stops it right here, so it plugs that hole. That's how simple it is. So, thank you guys for watching, hopefully the video was helpful, and see you guys next time.